Hello everyone, Miyaka here. Hello. Um, today we are going to do a quick tutorial on how to do your own custom scalers. Um, have you, I'm sure you've seen these in the catalog, they're like everywhere, and most of them are not derivable. So in this tutorial you will learn how to make your own without using anybody else's um, scaler. So first thing you want to do is load up your client here. So you're going to go to create mode and you're going to derive a new product. You're going to find an empty derivable, pick the male or the female clothing uh, empty derivable and then click OK or click go and you'll go there. I already have one loaded up. Um, I have a t-shirt on her. It'll be the basic one like that. So this is what you'll see. Your, your main avatar, there'll be nothing in any of these categories. Um, you'll notice here that there's an additional body part ID. That is one that I put in myself. So to make your own scaler, you need to go to the debug section. You'll automatically show up in debug one. You're going to go over to debug two. Uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do, make sure you're not clicking on anything, is you're going to add a key or add data. You're going to add some data. This is where you're going to add your body part mesh. So um, you're going to pick, I already put in body part ID zero. Um, this time I'm going to put body part uh, ID, of all, every single word has capitalized in the first letter, one. And I'm going to pick a number. Um, all of the body part, all the accessories and the body parts are numbered one through 99. You can pick anything above that for this. So I started off with 618, which is my birthday, and we're going to do 619 for the next one. So you can't use the same one twice. It might be oh, 01. Uh, one. Okay, so one. So I got my two body part IDs. If you go to the config, you'll see there's two of them there now. So I get 618 and 619. So we're going to add the second mesh. We're going to add a key, which is going to be mesh. Um, really you should start with mesh zero. I already have this one in. I'm using this as a reference currently. So I have mesh zero and now I'm adding mesh one. You're going to add as many mesh part, uh, body part IDs and meshes as bones that you plan on scaling. So, uh, if you plan on scaling her and, um, her waist and then you just want the waist scale, but you want the hips to be normal, you're going to need, uh, three. One for the waist bone and one for each hip bone. So we are going to, before we go dive into this too far, we're going to go into the um, education center and we're going to do a search for uh, bones. And you'll see the entire list of bones available right here. So just a quick note, if you scale any of these bones, say you scale the neck 01, everything underneath it will also scale. So neck 2, neck 3, neck 4, neck head, everything will shrink or grow depending on what you're doing. So if you want to just shrink the waist, you're going to scale 1 or 2 and then the bone directly after it to, to bring that one back up to size. So you have one shrunk and then you have to bring the other one back up. So you're going to need at least two bones to scale any, th any one bone in the middle of a chain here. So as you can mm -hmm. see, everything from the clavicle to the fingertips is all a part of the same chain uh, from the hand down. So, all right, so now we're going to go back to our thing so we have a better idea of which bones we're going to scale. Um, just so you, we can go back here for a minute. I uh, do, do, do. This doesn't really tell you. You're gonna have to figure out which bone is which by playing with it. But each bone is pretty well named. So, 
All right, so we have our mesh one. Now we're going to click on it because we're going to add something. We're going to add uh, two parts to that mesh one. We're going to add the index, um, which is data. This is an index because it has the, the, um, it has the uh, mesh ID. So we're going to, all right, index. And our mesh ID will be 619. All right, so they should match. So zero should have 18 and one should have 19 because those are the ones I put in there. Um, and then next we're going to put in the model modifier. It's under still under mesh one. So we're going to add mm, this one's just going to be a key because there is no values attached to this one. Model modifier. All right. And attached underneath the model modifier is model mesh scale rec. I actually have these written up here and I'm just going to copy and paste because that makes things easier. So this will also be a key because there is no values attached to it. Right before I add that, I got to make sure I'm clicking on the model mesh modifier because that is what that's going to be attached to. So add key under model mesh modifier model modifier, we're going to add model mesh scale rec. All right, there it is. Very good. And now we're going to add all of these scaling attributes here. So these will, all of these will be data and they're all going to be underneath model mesh scale rec. Um, I will put all this in underneath the, in the description and in my tutorial on my website. So you can just copy and paste and look at it for reference. It'll be easier, but watching it happen makes things a lot easier too. Um, all right, so we got the model mesh scale rec. We are going to add some data. Atta apply to attachments. That is going to be a one. So we are going to pull this up. Apply to attachments. Copy. One. Okay. And then the node name. That is the name that would be on the list over here. Whatever whatever bones you plan on scaling. So we're doing the shoulders here. I'm going to make a w am double amputee. Good times. All right, so let me add a, we're going to do note name. Add some data. And this will be, I already have the left shoulder typed in. I'm going to put the right shoulder typed in. Shoulder. Okay. And on this will be a one. I currently have this one set as zero because zero is off, one is on. And I just wanted to show you the basic avatar before we did that. So, all right, next we're going to add the scalers. data and for these I want to make them super tiny uh, these are percentages by the way uh, one would be 100% and um, 0.01 is 1% so we're making them just super super tiny add some data 0.01 Okay, so I'm going to change, this should be everything. You got all of the pieces that you need to scale your bones. I'm going to change this one back to one, so it is on. If you want to change any of these values, you can just go to edit after you click on it. And then you click on it again and it's no longer selected. So we're going to apply changes and see what happens here. So anyway, here you go. We have a double amputee and all you have to do is save your work and upload it to the catalog. Anything you put on her, let's put something on her, will go with the clothes or go, uh, will scale to your scaling scaler, just like any other scaler. 
unless something you put on is a scaler itself and it'll override your scaler. So let's let's find a lovely thing that will look funny. Uh, something baggy. What do I got here? What do I have? I got a lot of old clothing here. Oh, if I got anything brighter. Let's see what happens. This is a strappy dress. Alright, straps are still there. Arms are gone. That's cool. Alright, so we got some swimmy suits. Santa outfit. This is really old. Uh, this comes with a necklace. Interesting. No arms. Ooh, a turtleneck sweater. Oh, it's supposed to be cut off like that. But still, no arms. Um, if I change, like, let's change one of these arms and give her a giant arm. So to go, if you want to ever change this stuff, you just go back in. We're gonna edit this, and we're gonna change these to five. Five. And now we have a giant arm. So there you have it. You can now make your own scaler and bypass all those other scaler people. They probably won't like you for it. Probably won't like me for it. But, you know, it's kind of nice to know how to do this stuff, you know. So, until next time.